Well, good morning, YouTubers. This is Commissioner Tom, and yes, I'm still here. Um, it's been a long time since you've seen me out in a field. Uh, my last video was digging with uh, Treb MMA and, and Jason Beveled Blade, but as you can see, uh, we've started to see a little bit of fall plowing around here. It's uh, September the 1st, Saturday, September the 1st, really nice day. A little bit overcast. I was looking on the radar and we're actually getting the outer cloud bands of that uh, Hurricane Isaac that's probably out over Indiana right now. But um, got a field here. It's plowed, not planted yet. It's had one decent rain on it. Um, it's not, I mean, it could use some more rain, but this is a field that I've uh, not been in for a number of years just because it hasn't been fully tilled and I found some stuff here so let's uh, wish for the best hopefully I'll come up with something and have this camera back on we'll get back to you okay everyone it's been probably two months since I've done a surface hunt but I may have found my best point of the year no kidding um, and I, <laughs> I haven't touched it yet but I'm gonna walk up on this so you can see what I saw um, as I walked up on this. This is crazy looking. I'm sure you can see it by now. I, I have no idea what point type that is. That's got a crazy looking little base. Maybe Hopewell, but um, with such a little tiny base on it like that, you can see it's a smoker oh my goodness that thing is so thin how did that survive there's not there's nothing off that point that's got to be eh, maybe not quite three inches, but what a <laughs> what a great way to get back in it. Could be one of the nicest ones I found this year. Well, if I don't find anything else today, it's uh, it's quite a success because that is just an awesome looking piece. All right, let's hope there's more of these out there. We'll get back to you. Okay, this is Tom again. Um, so this is an idea of what I deal with in some of the fields I hunt. I've probably been walking now for uh, an hour and a half after I found that one and really haven't seen much. I did pick up this Kind of a cool looking tool knife all worked along that edge and then if you flip it over you've got this side that might be a that might be somebody who was using it right-handed and left-handed um, then let's see I picked up this thing I don't know it's all pounded off on the bottom pretty smooth here Probably some sort of a hammerstone pounding tool of some sort. But uh, finally picked up another piece again after an hour and a half. Broken. Yeah, it would have been a good one. And I didn't have my macro lens on when I found the, this piece, so here's a little better look of it. Still kind of riding high from that. All right, well, I got about a quarter of the field left, so we'll see if we can get one more before we get out of here. You know, the funny part is I was supposed to play in a golf outing this morning. I guess you could say I'm a half decent golfer and I get asked to play in a lot of golf outings, but you know, with it being so nice and overcast and pleasant outside and starting to see some fields tilled, but <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, 
Notice a, not much hidden there. Oh, yes. Ooh, wee. What an awesome little felt. I think it's kind of a, yeah, that's a slate. Slate silt. Man, oh man. What a day for me. Persistence paid off too. You know, I'd walked for quite a while and not seen anything and then all of a sudden, wham. Okay. Well, maybe I'm just getting into a good part of the field here, but I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Okay, this is Tom again. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but when I stopped at the house to ask about this field, they said that they're planning it this week, so it was really good that I got in here um, before that happened because uh, some of the stuff might have been covered up. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, I don't know if you remember, uh, earlier in the summer I found a little small celt. That celt was, if you look at those silos over here, and you come to the fields in front of it, probably five, six hundred yards from here is where I found that other little celt. So I'm definitely in an area here that uh, um, that's showing some good artifacts, and um, I don't know... This is one of those fields that Ed hunted. I'm not sure if he found anything like that here, but um, so since the south, I found this little looks like the bottom piece of an Adena point, and then I've got another one here on the ground. Looks kind of crude, but I think it's. I don't know if that's missing. No. I think that's complete. Some little knife. But it's a find. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll get back to you. Okay, everyone, this is Tom. And uh, this is uh, the second half of my day. I. Looked for about three hours this morning, had a really good morning, and uh, decided to go home, grab some lunch, get hydrated. And I'm back out at that same farm. This is another field that they have plowed up. It's got a rain on it, probably uh, going to be planted this week. Uh, I've got thunder off in the distance, which is good. Uh, that means it's going to rain here, but it might cut my day a little bit short. So I'm trying to hit just what I consider to be the better spots in the field here, um, some of the high spots. And I've got something really interesting on the ground here. That's a mystery point. You can see whatever, it, it's a piece of something and it's got some size to it. But let's take a look together here. I'm guessing this is the tip up here. Oh my goodness. So far, so good. Oh, I'm kind of afraid to see the rest of what I've got here. Oh, oh, I see a base missing. Sorry to keep you all in suspense. Yeah. What the heck? It's got a weird looking, I don't know if that's broke on the base. Holy smokes. That's a three and a half inch and that's a big point for us. Yeah, that base is pretty busted up, but it kind of looks like it has some retouching on it. But wow, that was pretty unexpected. good size. Okay, well, that's exciting. That uh, that would have been a day maker for me had I not found the other ones, but the day keeps getting better. All right, if I find anything else before the storm hits here, I'll get back to you.
Okay, this is Tom. Rain's still holding off on me. Found this little uh, thumb scraper. It looks like I have a little triangle down here on the ground. But the tip broke. Uh, that's too bad. Nice little triangle point. He must have hit the target, or hit the bone, when he hit the target. Okay, we'll get back to you. Lucy, you need a haircut. Yep. Okay, well, that was uh, a very good day for me uh, out there. I'll move through these uh, broken pieces here pretty quick. A thumb scraper I found. Busted tip. Probably the bottom of a an Adina. A little blade. I think this is all there, but pretty crude piece. It was sure nice to get back out in the fields. <clears throat> like I said, it's been probably close to the 4th of July since I've been out. <coughs> There's a little triangle point. I suppose they used that for something. It's not real round, it's more of a it's a pestle. It's a square pestle, I suppose. <clears throat> Here's that last big piece I found. <clears throat> I don't know if that base is broken or if it's been retouched a little bit. And this has been retouched here. Still a nice piece, though, by my standards. Very happy with that. Good size. <clears throat> Here's that slate silt. It's got a little damage back here. Lots of smoothing polish on it. I think that's my fourth or fifth self this year. That's that's a record for me. Usually I'll come out of a year with one of those. Um, but this has been a unusually good year for the hard stone. And how about this? Probably easily the nicest piece I found this year. That's one that'll go in the A frame. Very thin. Like I said, nice, nice flaking. Still a little um, unsure of the point type here. I uh, texted a picture to Bevel Blade and he used the name Table Rock, but you know, I mean, that's just such a little tiny base. You know, these ears give me kind of a Hopewell feel. I mean, if that had a dovetail base on it, it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me at all, but the base is not ground. I'll show you something when I get this. Uh, I'm going to put this in water and show you some of the colors that come out of this. That's just one fantastic piece. 
I'm really thankful for that. Um, appreciate uh, that you guys have kept it going all summer long uh, while I've been out of action. I do watch all your videos and try to comment to as many of them as I can. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back and uh, back in a in a strong way. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to try to get out again on Monday since I have the day off, and hopefully we'll have more to show you. This is Commissioner Tom signing off.